What is up guys? It's Carl here, back with another video for Reagan's channel. Carl! Um, during this quarantine, I've been practicing inside uh, my mattress here. Wow! My dirty garage. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to be taking you through how I do a tournament round warm up. So going through each club, uh, drills I might do, just basic strategy helping you guys uh, prepare for your tournaments um, in your tournament round prep like uh, this can go for any range session but this is gonna be my tournament warm-up what I've had success with and I'll tell you guys uh, tips and tricks along the way let's get to it all right guys so first what I'm gonna go through is um, picking your range spot so picking your range spot is very important especially if you have a grass range if you have a mat doesn't really matter you just kind of want to be in the center of the range M most likely you just want to be in the center um, but if you have a grass range, um, what you want to do is look for a spot that's flat as can be, and you want to have not only good grass to hit off of, but good grass to stand on. Because if you're like standing in divots and stuff, your swing can get off. You'll be like off balance. Also, if you're on like a downhill lie, uphill lie, stuff like that, try to find the most flat and the best grass for standing and your, uh, and your hitting. So, excuse me. I'll start off, once I find my spot, I'll usually laser with a range finder the first pin I see. So whether it's like 50 yards or something, I'll pull my 54 to start off with, sand wedge. And I'll just warm up, no glove, hitting just regular pitch shots to the pin. So I'll just, you know, kind of hit my, just hit normal pitch shots and just try to find the bottom of my swing, you know, try to feel it out. Um, and you just want to naturally work up to getting harder. Once I get past, once I get past like 70 yards, I'll throw a glove on. Cause you know, you want to have good grip. Um, when you're starting to swing a bit harder. All right, so you're just gonna to wanna to have normal, um, you know, put your normal speed and eventually, that was probably a 100 yard shot there. Eventually I'll work up to a full, well full for me is like 80% with the 54 degrees, so that's one 125-ish. Um, just kinda of get a good, good solid swings. Then next, after the 54, I will lay down an alignment stick at a target that's about 150-ish. So I'll grab my 8-iron and normal 8-iron for me stock is like 172 carry. So what I'll do is I'll find a pin that my 8-iron will be going to that day. So if it's crappy range balls, it might only go like 160. So you want to find a pin that you're going to be able to hit your 8-iron to. I'll lay down an alignment rod along that line so I can get good alignment. and. I'll start working on um, one of my main tendencies is to get too steep. So I have the glove under my armpit to keep it flatter and just work on that. So I'll probably hit five balls with the glove. I'll probably hit like five balls with the glove, five balls without the glove, and then um, do like draws and fades. So I'll go away from the alignment stick because draws and fades, you don't really need the alignment stick. So I'll go away from the alignment stick, you know, hit your fades, your draws, whatever you need, whatever you want to work on, really punch shots, high balls, just working the ball with this club. And then after the eight iron, I'll keep the alignment stick on the ground, switch to a four iron and uh, put the glove in there again. Put the glove in there again, do the same thing, probably five, five with it. Five with it, five without. And you know, you just want a nice stock swing. So normal forearm for me carries 225. So on the range, I'll be finding a pin at like 215 maybe. Just hitting them solid. And then uh, have the alignment stick still and then I'll get rid of the glove. And then I will do the shaping shots, uh, especially with a four iron. I might even hit some off the tee, just if I think I'm gonna be hitting iron off the tee that day a lot. Um, then I'll work up for my four and I'll go to my driving iron. 
Um, I'll probably hit three, three with the glove, three without the glove, um, and then probably five off the tee, because I'm mainly going to be hitting this off the tee. And then I will go um, like three wood driver. Um, if I'm carrying a three wood, I'll hit three wood off the tee. Probably four off the deck, no glove. And then a couple off the tee with the glove. I'll hit probably five off the tee with the glove driver, five non, and then five working. And then after I'm done with the driver, I will go back to the eight iron and um, take the alignment stick away and just try to hit shots. Like really focus like in game, shots like say I want to fade it onto this pin or whatnot you know just game like situations where I do my full you know free shot routine line it up um, get aligned however I feel I'm gonna try to get a little fade here that was a new, that was a new tie fade there um, and now you know draws fades whatever after my eight iron I will go down to my lob wedge my 62 degree, and I'll just hit some like, I don't know, 80 yard. I mean, I can't really swing it full in here because I'll hit the ceiling, but um, I'll hit like 80 yards down to like 15 yards with this. And then um, after my 60, I'll hit whatever I'm gonna hit on the first tee, whether it be three wood, three iron driver, I'm gonna hit a three iron here is my go-to shot under pressure. And usually, usually I'll get it first try, but if not, then I'll just do it till I get it right with the whole pre-shot routine and everything. Um, but that's basically it, guys. If you just go through your bags or to summarize, we go 54, uh, eight iron, four iron, driving iron or hybrid, three wood driver, and then um, working on things in through those, and then uh, go back to the eight iron, game like shots, full free shot routine, go back to the 60, um, hit some lob shots, some 80 yard wedge shots, stuff like that, and then I'll go to whatever I hit off the first tee, and then it's off to the putting green. Now, for my putting, all I do is set up a mirror, it's pretty simple. I get the feel first, hit 10, 15, 20 foot putts, set up a mirror at like 10 feet. I try to make like five in a row, and if I can groove my stroke with that 10 footer, I'm pretty much set for the day. Then I hit a couple lag putts and I'm off to the first tee. But uh, yeah, and in that time, you wanna be cleaning your grooves after every shot, so they're fresh for the course. Also, drinking lots of water to stay hydrated because if you're not hydrated, your mind is just, it's not gonna be the same as if you're fully hydrated. You won't be able to concentrate on everything correctly. So uh, yeah, guys, that was how I warm up for a tournament. Uh, if you wanna see any more videos, go to Reagan's Instagram or YouTube and just comment um, what you wanna see me do or teach you guys how to do. I can teach you basically anything in golf. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.